Sam, uh, we're essentially uh, seeing science uh, play out in action here. Science, the scientific method, is about asking a question, saying, uh, will this work, and testing it. And so instead of mixing and matching vaccines without science, without data, they are doing the right thing here of actually studying this and seeing if that will work. Dr. Gounder, there is a dip in cases and hospitalizations, as we reported. Why do you think that is? Well, over Thanksgiving, over Christmas, over New Year's, people got together with family and friends. They did so, at least some of them, without masks, without social distancing, and indoors without good ventilation. And we saw a huge surge uh, after Thanksgiving, after Christmas and New Year's related to that. Uh, we know that there is a lag time after infections occur um, before people get really sick, end up in the hospital, and later die. So it's really to be expected that about six to eight weeks after holidays like this where people got together that you would see a peak in your deaths, and then they would finally go down after that. Hmm. Dr. Gounder, the CDC continues to sound alarms about these new variants. There's a lot we don't know. Are you concerned that the improving numbers might give people a false sense that we've turned a corner on this fight against the virus. I am concerned, uh, Shepard. You know, I, I think based on the modeling out of the CDC, the UK variant in particular is predicted to be the dominant variant in the US by March. And that's a time when you might have some families taking spring break. So you would have the additive effect of, again, a holiday where people might be socializing uh, not taking all the safety measures on top of this far more contagious variant. This is not the time to be letting our guards down. We really need to, until everybody who wants to get vaccinated can be vaccinated, we really do need to double down on the masking, the social distancing, uh, all of the measures we've been talking about for months now. Are there signs in any of these variants that suggest to you, doctor, that we could be in for another surge and a bigger one than we've ever seen if we're not really careful here? This really depends on what we do. You know, I think of us as being sort of in a tug of war between us and the coronavirus. And yes, the vaccines are coming to our rescue to help pull <laughs> on our side of the rope, but it's almost as if we're dropping the rope before the vaccines can make it to help us. You know, and, and what's problematic about these variants is that they're more contagious, they're more virulent, can cause more death, and some of them may even um, escape the immune response, whether it's natural or from the vaccine. So it's mm. really important right now that we do everything possible to preserve the vaccines, to make sure they keep working, and that means preventing the spread of these new variants. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.